disappointing. Beautiful, sunny morning out here in Sebastopol Hills in the Russian River. An amazing vineyard that I'm at. This is the Fog's Edge Vineyard. And what's unique about it? Number one, let's squat down here. But number one is the soil. So this is talcum powder. This is a gold ridge sandy loam. So the phylloxera doesn't live in here because there's no organic matter. As a result, old vines. These vines haven't been replanted since 1978. Secondly, very open canopy. Um, we're on the afternoon side here, but you've got big berries and small berries in the same cluster. Let me see if I can show you. There's a small berry and there's a big berry. Look, check out that. And that says to me that it's not a clone. No Dijon clones, no UC Davis clone. This is an old field selection called C that was selected for its subtropical characters like passion fruit and melon. And then lastly, check this out. This is cane pruned. So very wide spacing between the shoots. So nice, even light exposure. Fog's Edge Chardonnay does not get better than this. It produces wines of great structure, but at the same time you get that subtropical passion and melon character inherited in the grape. Just an amazing, amazing vineyard. I'm so lucky to work here. Sebastopol Hills, Russian River, Fog's Edge Chardonnay.